Our victim is being immersed in a 7-foot diameter bin using an 8-inch auger that is not fully open. In a large grain facility that uses a 60-inch auger, he would be immersed much faster. The average person becomes engulfed between mid-thigh and their belly button when they can no longer do the jumping motion. The victim can breathe, but is stuck. Check to see if the victim is wearing a harness. Securing a lifeline to the victim will prevent them from being submerged into the bin. The rescuer is going to use the GSI rescue tube to get the victim out of the grain. Prior to placing the panels around the victim, the rescuer informs them that the pressure will initially increase, but then decrease again when the grain is being removed. He places the first panel directly behind the victim. This panel is referred to as the foundation. It is driven down as far as possible at a 90 degree angle. He does not use any of the latches on the cofferdam. Instead, he puts his knee into the bottom of the panel to keep the seal tight. He then puts the second panel a few inches into the grain. He keeps an eye on the 90 degree angle using his knee in the bottom of the panel to keep a good seal. He places the third and fourth panel a few inches into the grain to hold them in place. He inspects the seal to see if it is tight. If the seal is tight, he starts driving the panels down the rest of the way. If there is a leak in the tube, it can be stopped by plugging the leak with an item such as a glove or shirt, or by lifting the panels and resealing them. Once the panels are all driven down, he warns the victim that the pressure in the tube is going to increase each time the panels are driven down further. As the grain is removed, the pressure will go away. They use the shop vacuum to get the grain out, only focusing on the grain that is directly in front of the victim. That way, he can make room to start stepping and climbing out of the tube. He is able to use a shop vacuum because there is no combustible dust in the air. The combustible dust standard is a five foot visual inspection. If your vision is obscured at five feet or less, then there is enough dust in the air to support combustion. If you do not have a shop vacuum or rescue auger or can't use a shop vacuum because there is too much dust in the air, many different tools can be used to remove grain, such as hard hats or coffee cups. It is important to remove the grain from the victim and not the victim from the grain. Forcing the victim out of the grain could result in injury. If the victim was unconscious, the rescuer would have to continue removing the grain from the inside of the tube and driving the panels down further until he can see the top of the victim's feet. He pulls one panel back, slowly lifting it up so that the grain can flow back in while he stands on the side rails. He wants to be cautious to let the grain flow back in slowly so he does not re-engulf the victim and the force of the grain flowing underneath the panel does not pull him into it. This is how you safely get somebody out of a grain bin using a GSI rescue tube.